Hello again, everyone. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, I've been kind of avoiding making another video. Um, world's crazy right now. My personal life is even crazier. Uh, you might have noticed I changed my channel's name. Uh, that is because I am currently separated from my husband. Uh, we're going through a divorce. Uh, still living <laughs> in the same fifth wheel trailer together part time. Uh, but that's a story for another time. Uh, today, I wanted to tell more of a lighthearted story about my childhood and some of the schemes I got into with my friend. Uh, but first, I did want to just take a couple minutes to touch on my last video. Um, I am kind of overwhelmed that so many people wanted to watch me talk about my past traumas for over 30 minutes um but i'm grateful that so many of you found me somehow and uh enjoyed my video uh, and wanted to watch me complain i guess um uh, yeah just kind of blown away uh, i'm still getting comments on this video regularly and it's I, I really only expected a few of my closer friends to watch it so yeah, thanks. Um, but, but, there's always a but, right? Um, I have been hesitating to make this video because, or like at least talk about this, because a lot of you have found a lot of comfort in my last video, um, especially, you know, on the forgiveness topic. Uh, I've gotten a lot of comments about that, um, and I don't want to take that away from anybody. I'm glad that you guys have found comfort uh, in my forgiveness, but I want to be honest and I want to be myself if I continue to make videos, and I just... It's not really how I feel all the time, um, or even most of the time, or even really that often at all. Um, I want to. I would love to be the type of person that can forgive a dead person so I can move on and I can, I don't know, feel better. But, unfortunately, I am a very bitter person, and it turns out I hold on to things, like, a lot. Um, it's just kind of who I am. I, I am, by nature, I've always just kind of been negative. Uh, it's caused a lot of issues in my life and my personal relationships. Uh, I always have a smile on my face for some fucking reason, but... I am constantly having negative thoughts and expressing those negative thoughts, and I'm sure I'm exhausting to be around. Uh, in fact, I've been told I'm exhausting to be around because I'm so negative. And that's fine. I mean, I don't necessarily love who I am, and I would love to be different, um, and I try to be, uh, but I think that some people just are the way that they are, and it's really hard without intense therapy to get over some of the shit that I've been through, and so I, I don't know, you know, it's whatever, um, but I, I think it's okay to not necessarily always forgive people in your life for doing really fucked up things to you. Like I said, I wish I could, like, truly and deeply find that forgiveness so that I can move on with my life. Uh, and some, some days I do feel it. Uh, it's just really not that often. Um, I'm, I'm still jet flying. <laughs> Uh, I'm, yeah, I guess I'm still just pretty bitter about some stuff. It is what it is. Uh, I just want to be honest about that. I think 
being, like, bringing a positive spin on everything, eh. while it's helpful for a lot of people, it, it's not me. I'm just not, like, that positive spin kind of person, um, and so it seemed really natural to make a video like that, but now it's hard for me to watch a video of myself talking because it's just not who I am. Uh, my experiences, not my thoughts and feelings. Uh, so that's, I don't know, it, it's weird. I'm gonna try to just be more honest about how I actually feel about things on here, because uh, I think that's more helpful to people who have been through similar things than the other way around. And I'm not gonna delete my last video. If you found comfort in that perspective and that point of view, by all means, like continue to find comfort in that if you want, if that helped you. I don't want you to think of it as like fake. I really did, like I said, at least want to feel that way in that moment. And maybe I even thought that I felt that way in that moment. Um, it's just not, I just don't think it's completely realistic, at least not for me to forgive someone that just like has done me so wrong. Um, at least not completely. Uh, I still, having been through substance abuse and mental illness myself, I still do have a deeper understanding of maybe why she did what she did and all of that, but that understanding doesn't necessarily translate into forgiveness for me. And that's all right. That's all cool. Anyways, enough of the heavy shit. I wanted to tell you guys a story today. Okay, so story time. Um, this is about when I was in either the fourth or fifth grade um, and had this friend. I don't want to dox her, so we'll just call her Kay. Um, now, Kay and I were kind of troublemakers together. Uh, we, you know, casual shoplifting, um, playing spooky games in graveyards at the middle of the night, like, you know, shit that normal young girls do, just probably a little bit younger, <laughs> um, than most, but we just kind of like to cause trouble together. Now, at first, my parents really loved that I was friends with Kay, um, from the outside, a, a seemingly pretty wholesome family, uh, and on, I would spend Saturday nights at her house a lot, uh, and go to church with her on Sunday morning. Uh, so she had this really cool church. They picked you up in, like, a school bus, um, and you would sing songs and play trivia games and, uh, you know, just have a jolly good time on the way to church in the mornings on the bus. Uh, and you would win, like, really cool trivia prizes from this. So you could win a biscuits and gravy breakfast, which I remember being just delicious. Um, or, like, king-size candy bars, packs of, like, sour straws. Like, really good candy. Um, they really knew how to keep the children's attention. Uh, but... I wasn't a big church kid, but I honestly loved going to church with her on Sundays, like, strictly for the bus rides, because I loved candy. Um, which is a great segue into my next point. So, stay with me here. Uh, <laughs> my mom would buy me these treasure chest boxes filled with art supplies. Um, they would have different compartments, and it would have, like, oil pastels, colored pencils, markers, crayons, the works. It would have all sorts of um, art supplies within it. And I had a few of these and I drew a lot. And so I no longer had the need for one of these treasure chests as all of the art supplies in it were either used up or I moved them somewhere else that was more convenient for me. Long story short, I have an empty treasure box. Um, it was really cool. I still have a very vivid image of it in my head. It was purple, it was sparkly, it had these metal clasps, um, and two doors on the front of it that opened like that, and just kind of like opened outward, and then there was a few different compartments that you could pull out, um, 
yeah, it was a it was a really cool little treasure chest. It was plastic. I mean, it wasn't like a super fancy one or anything like that. Um, but I just loved how many different like sections it had. So, since I didn't need it for my art supplies anymore, um, I mentioned how much I love candy. I still do. Uh, I really wanted to fill it with candy. <laughs> I just I needed to. Um, so. One Saturday night, I took my box over to Kay's house, um, and I told her what I wanted to do with it, and of course she's on board. Uh, we often got in trouble for eating way too much candy, as children do, uh, but we wanted to fill that fucking treasure chest with candy. That was our goal. So, um, we... Over the next couple of weeks, we really try just saving as much money as possible, you know, put aside ones here, you know, even saving candy that we get throughout the week from either the church bus experience or, you know, say our parents will buy us something here and there. We just really compiled all that we could and tried to fill the treasure chest with candy and we just really fell short, you know, it, it basically looked like a few measly pieces of candy in a box. It it wasn't exciting at all. Um, so we needed to find a way to get a lot more money <laughs> and a lot more candy, um, and fill our goddamn treasure chest with candy. So, um, I went and asked my parents for candy money because I, you know, why not at this point? Why not? Of course they said no. I mean, I think they gave me like a couple bucks, but it's really like, you know, we already went through this. So, her mom was an absolute no-go. She hated that we would be eating candy as much as we were anyways. And so that was just out of the question. Um, and so we decided to keep our project secret from her mom, uh, since we were stashing our treasure chest at her house. Uh, but we still needed to find a way to get money. Uh, you know, asking my parents fell short. We probably needed a good... 60 or 70 dollars to fill this treasure chest the way that we wanted to with candy um so we came up with an idea <laughs> uh we were terrible children and you know we decided you know churches get money right um, no we didn't technically steal from a church but what we did do is we went door to door on all her neighbors houses and uh, she, I mean apartment complex so she lived in an apartment complex so we went to a lot of doors <laughs> and we knocked and we said that we were collecting donations for our church and that asked if they had anything they would like to donate um this worked really well uh most of her neighbors saw us getting on the church buses most mornings. There were other kids within the apartment complex that also went to that church. So, I mean, verified, we went to a church. Um, most people are going to trust two small children. I don't know. I mean, maybe. I probably wouldn't now. <laughs> um, but, I mean, we looked like two innocent little girls, you know? <laughs> um we got way too much money, like way too much. Uh, immediately walked down to the corner mart and bought as much candy as we could, all the good stuff, like the good stuff, you know. And we went back and we filled the treasure chest and my life was complete. Like this was the happiest moment to date. <laughs> I can still picture what an organized, beautiful little candy chest I had. Um, until the next day when inevitably in inevitable let's just pretend I said that word right um one of w one of the neighbors came and talked to my friend's mom and said how nice they thought it was that we were collecting money for our church and of course her friend's mom being very involved with the church, uh, immediately knew that we had fucked up. <laughs> and, uh, my friend Kay was Peruvian. <laughs> and I remember her mom just coming in the room and 
yelling in a language that I didn't understand and being very upset and then calling my parents and my parents being very upset with me. Um, and I think my parents had to come and like, you know, give money to the neighbors who were all, of course, upset as well. Um, but all in all, like good scheme, right? Like I did what I, I did my goal. Yeah, I accomplished my goal rather. Um, and I can't remember if they ever found out about the candy chest or not. I'm pr like, I feel like we hid that under the bed before they found out about it. But I also, mm, no, see, I think we got away with the candy chest at first. They found out that about, you know, us scamming money from people. We said we bought candy. I think we said we ate all of it. Uh, and I think for a little while we got away with that until one day her mom walked into the room with us. I have, I have very vague memories of this. Let's just pretend like this is exactly what happened. And her mom walked into the room while we were like playing some Avril Lavigne on the radio station that we requested and called in. <laughs> and um, couldn't hear her coming and she walked in the door and found our massive treasure chest full of candy and put two and two together and we got it taken away. So that's, you know, just some of the shenanigans I got into as a child. One of many of my I'm a bad person stories. Um, but much more lighthearted than my last. So... I don't know, maybe you'll like it, maybe you are here for the deep dark trauma, I don't know, I guess give me feedback. <laughs> um, but thanks for hanging out and watching, and uh, again, I, thank you for the overwhelming support on my last video, I really mean that. Uh, I, I really, really did only expect a few close friends of mine to watch that video, and so to see it getting thousands of views and still receiving comments on it and having people like it, it, it really blows me away. Um, and I'm just honored that you would spend your time listening to me talk. So I don't know if you, if you like this, give me some feedback. If you don't like it, give me some feedback. I don't know. I don't, I like making videos. Um, and I like, telling stories. I got a lot of stories to tell and they're worthless if I don't tell them. So, you know, I'm, if there's an interest, I'll probably keep doing this. And if there's not an interest, I might still do it. Maybe just not as frequently. Um, just cause I enjoy doing it, but bye. <laughs>